Okay guys, so we got another one for you today. Today this is a call out and customer um, stated that uh, dead battery in her car so we had to replace the battery. This is a 2005 Chevy Equinox. And so yeah, I'm gonna replace the battery. So this is a kind of tricky one because you can't see the battery, but I'm gonna show you guys where it is and how we go changing it. Okay, so the first thing with the Chevy Equinox is as you look under the hood, you don't see a battery any place in this hood. So if you look around, you won't see no battery. So in this Chevy Equinox, the battery is located underneath the computer of the car. So this is the PCM of the car. So what we're gonna do is these, uh, these uh, tabs right here, just push in and they click right out. Then the whole computer of the car will come off. I'm gonna set this to the side. You just wanna be mindful not to bend the wires too much or you know they can break. So if you look over here, there's a clip like a that, uh, like a zip tie that holds the wiring harness to the cover of the battery box. So it's gonna pull on and it comes right out. And then this is the cover of the battery box. But you can see there's some screws. There's one screw here, one in the back here, and then one over on this side, right there. So we're gonna get a Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna remove those. Second screw off. And I'm gonna go after the third screw. Third screw. There we go. Got the three screws off now. I'm gonna pull this cover off. And that, um, that exposes the battery on where the battery is located at. Okay, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna move, remove the negative terminal and the positive terminal from the battery. For that, I'm gonna use an eight millimeter open hand because it's a tight spot. Once you get it loose, you can just uh, remove the rest of the way with the, your finger most of the time. There you go. You remove the positive, same way. Get the positive off. Now we're gonna move this on the side. Okay, our next step is if you look down there, there's a bolt way in the bottom. So that bolt is a 13 millimeter. So I'm gonna come over here with my ratchet. And, and this is a mounting bolt for the battery. So I got an eight inch extension and a four inch extension. And it's just about long enough to reach the bottom. Grab the bolt with my hand. This is what the mounting bracket looks like. It holds the battery down. So this is the setup I use to reach the bolt on the bottom. 13 millimeter shallow socket, eight inch extension and a four inch extension and a all quarter inch drive for the tight spot. So our next step is we're gonna pull out the old battery. And this is the new battery. So before putting them in, we're gonna prep it. So we're gonna remove all the caps. These two caps cover the positive and negative terminal on the battery. We're gonna remove those. So once you got those removed, I'm gonna lower it back down into position. Same way as we took it out, same way we put it back in. Make sure the terminals is on the same side and not on the opposite side. So we got it facing the terminals that way to where the wires was. Then we're gonna take our... So now we're gonna take our uh, mounting bracket. I'm gonna lower it back down. So now I'm starting the mounting bolt by hand. Once I got it tight enough to where I can't make it any tighter by hand, I'm gonna attach the ratchet. Tight. 
plate. And our next step is going to be connecting the positive battery terminal back to the battery. I'm going to take the negative battery terminal and reattach, reattach the negative side. Like I always mention in all my other videos, when working with electrical, you want to always just double check, make sure everything is tightened very well. So I'm going to check the positive one more time. And the negatives. Okay, so we got both positive and negative terminals really tight. So our next step is gonna be putting the cover back on. I'm gonna reattach the battery cover. Just slide into place. Take the screwdriver. Tighten down all the screws again. Okay. So now I'm just gonna double check and make sure the screws from this battery cover is nice and tight. So we got it all snugged in place. Then we got the computer for the car and all it's gonna do is just click right back into its spot where it mounts just right in there nice and tight make sure it's stuck in there good yeah secured I'm gonna click the plastic zip tie clip back to the side of the box and that's it so this is how you change a battery in a 2005 Chevy Equinox the years close to this is pretty much almost similar as long as it has the uh, 3.4 motor in it uh, yeah so now we're just gonna get the key and start it up and make sure it's fine There you have it guys, it's running fine, starts right off really good. So yeah, this job is done. So hope you guys all enjoyed it and see you guys on the next one. Aloha.